graduated. D.K. Gupta ji also in the SCFI. He was... Yeah, life. Yes, sir. So, thank you everybody for joining this today. Very, very important uh, uh, topic of the Heart Care Foundation of India expert group uh, of uh, in Roundtable Expert Group Environment. Welcome all. Uh, we have uh, today, this is 35th meeting of the Roundtable Expert Group of Environment of the Heart Care Foundation of India, Dr. K.K. SCFI. And cumulative is the 2,770 meeting with Dr. K.K. Agrawal, Parmisi Awardi, who used to take on the various issue of public health and environment. It is done from last one and a half years about. From last March 2020, started this uh, through the technology by Zoom. And they done a lot of about 2,770 sessions on various issues of environment and public health and environment. And educated millions across through uh, YouTube, Facebook, including I mean various media and that way. And the, today, topic is the very, very important because I discussed with the other uh, person. And this is thank you, Vivek ji, for this. Uh, he has the uh, our you can say mentor now for this uh, uh, environment uh, group. And he is a trustee in Heart Care Foundation of India. And the topic is eco restoration of lakes, ponds, and water bodies. And today meeting will be, I requested Vivek ji, he was saying that somebody else. So I thought he, because he is the, he should be the, this uh, Bangalore Lake project he knew about. So I just requested him to chair this today's session. Mr. Vivek Kumar will chair the session. And Anand uh, Maligabad is the lake man of the, as you know, that the, of the Bangalore. And last five years, Mr. Anand is uh, able to rejuvenate about 10 lakhs in the Bangalore round and provided technical uh, guidance to four other lakhs that was it. He is also associated with the, about uh, other groups and with the help of other to provide technical guidance to more than 100 lakhs in the country, across the country. So he is a great person. Welcome, Mr. Anand, and today uh, CFI Thank the you. meeting. Thank and you. I uh, welcome here other members uh, of the uh, who joined from the Amroha Division from um, District Bijnor uh, and Mr. Mukul Chand, who is a member of the our SCFI group. He has uh, done wonderful work in this that area and he requested the, and today welcome uh, our guest here, Mr. Mageram Chauhan, who is a SDM. And I think other people, I don't know, have joined or yet. I think supposed to join Mr. Manoj Kumar, Mr. Yes. Mithilis Tiwari, and Mr. Yogesh Kumar from the other irrigation department and the forest department. I hope, hope if they join that today. And so we, we have the, I mean, I mean, Mukul is doing a lot of work in this area about the Heart Care Foundation of India uh, that uh, they taken the projects in the 108 villages where the particularly the our old uh, religious and native trees is uh, planted in the about 108 villages. So which uh, a tree that we mentioned in the, in the our Iskand Purana is like uh, people, Bhargad, Neem, Bale, Aula, Am, Kath, Imli, these are eight trade trees. They're taking the about 100 villages. They have done a lot of work with the all uh, traditional like production, bamboo, and uh, also the water for the in the, the mud pot using that. So a lot of work he's doing. Thank you, Mukulji, for the taking this activity. And in the respect to today's topic, as you all know, the water is elixir of life. We can't uh, do anything. And the source of water, are depleting and there is an urgent need to save the resource, uh, all the reserve and the resources that our rivers, lakes, water body, ponds are either polluted with the some kind of wastewater or some kind of solid waste and the because of the surrounding area, a lot of wastewater and other things are discharged. All the water body in the country are either silted or encroached or are dried. So therefore, these urgent need is not only in the um, one district, you can say UP or Bangalore or anywhere, Across the country, urgent need to re eco restoration of these lakes, pond, and the water body, because the uh, particularly the all the life of the rural population depends on the these ponds and the, uh, the water is the main source for, for them. Actually, the ponds and the lakes and the whatever the water body. In SCFI, which is Dr. K K SCFI, Heart Care Foundation of India, which is the Dr. K K Agrawal from so many years from 1987, he has started this organization and doing a lot of work, including the Perfect Health, Health Mela and other activity. And the last one and a half years through public health, uh, the uh, platform Zoom, he has educated millions of people. So his, his mission, he extended his mission to the provide the, like the public and the better environment too, including then people living in the rural area. So he's already doing with the lot of education. 
so according in this context scfi has taken this uh, project of the along with the plantation program the uh, eco restoration of uh, lakes uh, ponds and, and, and i request uh, vivek kumar ji to take over the uh, session uh, as a chair and we will continue with then later on we will request the anand uh, maligavar to uh, go for the uh, give, uh, his uh, lecture and presentation so uh, over to vivek ji namaskar on behalf of hartke foundation of india i would like to invite all of you to this program thank you for joining and i would like to give a special warm welcome to our speaker mr anand who has yes. devoted his life to the mother earth by uh, taking care of the lakes we all understand that lakes are a very important part of our life unfortunately we are not able to highlight and educate the people in the rural area the importance of preserving the lakes in the rural area most of our people are going in for borewells and they are thinking as long as they are taking out the water from the ground they are okay but now unfortunately we have seen in many areas especially around uh, tirupur also we have seen where the color of the water is no more white it has become gray in certain areas it's coming out blue and red in the ground level because of the uh, effluent water of the textile industry which is directly being discharged on the fields it is percolating down into our ground level our ground level waters are also getting cardiogenic mr anand has got some wonderful insight and he has shared this i had the privilege of uh, hearing him at one of our projects in swiss town and uh, he has uh, helping us in uh, regenerating one of the lakes there and i felt it's a great inspiration and a great enlightenment for us in this round table which we have some distinguished guests and people who with immense knowledge and experience in the field of environment who can then guide us and then we have uh, some eco warriors like mr mukul chand with us who have devoted their life also in rural areas in abohar to uh, you know enhance the villages and then we can use mr anand's experience and under the guidance of the round table distinguished guest we have to execute this in the rural platform of the uh, western up and then later on in eastern up and we have hundreds of villages and mr mukul will also tell mr anand that all the ponds are nothing but plastic dump yards yes. and uh, the water is not portable mr anand has a technology without putting stp plant we can make the water portable we can have the fishes in it and he will now uh, i would like to take this privilege of handing over the session to mr anand and after the session dr anil kumar can have a, a question and answer question, uh, session where most of the distinguished guests mr anand you are going to have today come with immense experience and knowledge and they are all doctors many of them phd doctors and engineers so you can have a very intelligent uh, conversation and myself and some of the others don't have that much of knowledge so we'll use this uh, platform for our self learning also so rather than wasting any more time because time is precious it is sunday we have 40 minutes left uh, mr anand i leave it to you to take the session forward yeah. so namaste over to over to anand ji thank you yeah namaste uh, see basically like a uh, big thanks to Heart Care Foundation, as well as Anil sir and uh, Vivek sir, they connected uh, such a senior environmentalist. See, you all are working across the country in uh, various uh, part of the uh, country and uh, various activities. So, uh, in front of you, like thirty, forty experience. Uh, I just worked last six, seven years, and I don't have much knowledge, and uh, <laughs> I am not. to expert just think that your one kid is speaking in front of you uh, where uh, as a parents you admitted to school and uh, they learn from the school and they are just briefing in front of you please that is my request because most of the uh, like uh, i think it is my i think 1000 uh, almost 1000 1100 uh, 
the webinar it is almost last seven years huge most most of them are like students architectures and uh, all these you know, environment based all those things but here i am meeting various senior committee and it is my privilege thanks anil sir thanks uh, vivek sir and thanks arkel foundation uh, first i'll tell uh, who i am i am a uh, anand maligod i was working with one of the automotive and aerospace industries as a group head of projects and csr i worked about 16 years in one company and if you see my background i am a uh, uh, 450 km away from uh, bangalore it is a north karnataka kopla district elburga taluk small tiny village karmudi and uh, i was uh, why i got a interest with lakes is why it was in my dream and uh, my list of do's in life lake is uh, i studied up to one, first standard to seventh standard in a lake bed basically my government school were there in a lake bed and uh, most of the uh, first standard to seventh standard i spent my time in a lake bed rather than school because i was more interested in going to water bodies uh, playing there you know catching crabs these that uh, climbing the trees you know uh, you know like uh, playing with all these bullocks and all and uh, i i was having a more conversation with farmers these cow boys and all so uh, this was the thing which helped me a lot working in bangalore today in fact not uh, academically like a uh, being a mechanical engineer how much i will know about environment just you, you all know very basic common sense will have and uh, how to handle people like uh, how to uh, talk to farmers and uh, how to go to each lake and what you need to observe all these things uh, came from my childhood if you see uh, like uh, 2000 uh, uh, almost 2007 uh, 527 i was there in uttarakhand we were put up in a plant in sirkul bajaj cluster and uh, there when i went first person to uttarakhand bay of sansera to put up the facility if you see there uh, uh, there were uh, pantnagar university attached in pantnagar university i used to see big big about 1 feet dia 1 and 1/2 feet dia pipes huh? with a full crystal clear very transparent and chilled water i seen i was shocked so i was shocked that uh, somebody uh, gardeners and all they told me that these all artisans without pump without any electricity can you know, they are all coming like this only so i was uh, mesmerized and it was i was thinking that uh, how it is possible uh, you see we are sucking from the borewell and the still we are getting 1 inch 2 inch how much it is coming then i started studying about that area why this water is coming what is the, all these things then i took about Two three months, and I understood that uh, from Nainital, Bhimtal, and all, there are a lot of big, big, uh, you know, lakes from there because of pressure it is coming. Right? right. Then I started visiting Nainital, Bhimtal, all these Ramgarh, uh, all these areas. Then I had a big biodiversity and water, all these things. And uh, uh, if you see again back 1996, I came to Bangalore. In Bangalore, every house had well. About 1.5 meter dia on just 20 25 feet depth, and if you put a one just car and get a water, not this water, what we get it in the RO water, right? It was a crystal clear, very tasty water we had. So in uh, North Karnataka, when we go to our village back, people used to tell our skin tone used to change that time. It is they were telling like it is a Bangalore color. It is a Bangalore color. Bangalore color is not only drinking water, sunlight. See, little sunlight come, little sweating come. You need used to have rains, and a full of shade area with full forest kind of thing. So people used to tell in a uh, Bangalore world, they were telling Bangalore world like a skin tone used to change. That kind of city. When I come back from Uttarakhand, and uh, over a period of time, around 2015-16. I realized that bore wells have been reached thousand feet, thousand five hundred feet, right? Earlier success rate were of bore wells about uh, say hundred bore wells. If people drill, it uh, around nineteen ninety five used to be success rate. Now not even forty thirty if you get it. So it, reason is like complete Bangalore is a uh, you know like a AC city. Most of the people across the country they all come for IT and other sectors for employment and all. And uh, these people did not plan properly, and uh, by that time they realize the city is going to be uh, boosting up. It is boosted everywhere, and uh, we closed all the lakes. We destroyed so many trees and all. 
and there were uh, two floor buildings now we reached about 14 15 floors and the density is increased per square meter that way completely everybody started drilling and uh, there is no water source uh, in bangalore like river or anything like uh, this bangalore is depending upon 180 km from mysore which from dam they pump eight stage water they bring it to city so this is what and uh, not even full city about 20 25% 30% not even they covered in last 75 years of our democracy right so uh, we are, nobody is getting cover water in fact like uh, most of the dam every home they had a practice of drilling borewell like uh, there are thousand of thousand borewells and zero recharging and everybody start that there is a sweet water ocean below the bangalore city or any any indian city so just we are sucking from them no nothing so this kind of phenomena imbalance i seen and uh, since uh, i was uh, walking and i was just uh, going to the my office there were one lake called uh, kalasnali lake which is 36 acre lake i i used to drive in same that lake but about 7 years and over a period of time i seen that lake is uh, completely it has become filled and people started dumping lot of uh, debris building waste industrial waste and that water is started going down one day when i was going one of the farmer he was washing its, his cow with uh, just about a little bit of around 1 feet of water i thought that it is going pathetic so can we do something like that i started thinking then uh, i started then i started studying about why uttarakhand is like that why bangalore is like this then when i got more deeper into it about four to five months i studied about bangalore you know like aquifers uh, confined and unconfined then i realized that there were around four small small rivers inside the bangalore they all become drainage yard now like rishwavati kumudavati all these rivers have become full drainage and uh, also there were 840 lakes in bangalore which we have buried like majestic bus stand is a kempambudi lake which Dharmambudi Lake, which is about 1,800 acres lake, which we are catering Bangalore's underground recharge. We made it a bus stand. We made it a stadiums. We made it a lot of hockey stadium and all. They are in lake bed. So, left out is 80. Out of that, 21 are in a rejuvenated condition. Out of that, 5 to 10 uh, lakes are Bathaba lakes. So, then I realized that lakes were playing vital role from Kempegowda time. Like, uh, you know, he owned 800 years. He built a beautiful lake structures and interconnected lakes and all in the name of urbanization we destroyed it so that is why we facing problem one day i read a newspaper that like a uh, 2025 bangalore will become a zero water city and uh, it will not become don't worry we are all together god grace and india is such that it is a blessed country in the world okay but still i read it after that i also second sentence is not only Bangalore, 21 cities in India will going to become a zero water city by 2030. It made me little, you know, like a tense and uh, I don't know what, why it has happened to me. So many people read, so many people uh, just forget it. But it started, you know, uh, creating uncomfort to me. Then I started thinking that can I do something about it? See, if you want to inspire people, if you want to do lot many things, there is an idea, but it has to be uh, you know, like a celebrity kind of film, these cricketers, all these things, if they talk, uh, then uh, thousands lakhs to together, together people will uh, hear. When like people like me, common employee, if I talk, nobody listen to us. Then it will take a longer time to spread this kind of knowledge. Then, then what I did is, I was thinking that uh, can we ask uh, some community to have a rainwater harvesting, something like storm water harvesting, and planting trees every home and protecting some water bodies channel. Little time I thought uh, it is not possible because people don't listen to common men. So then I started thinking that instead of I am talking and inspiring or uh, you know, uh, putting pressure on people, I don't I start myself and create a benchmark of certain projects where through that I'll inspire people. This is how dream came. And from 2016 to 17, I took first any subject I get in, let me have a complete knowledge about it, practical knowledge about it, without having knowledge. If I get into that, I miserably fail, or maybe people may not get convinced. That is how I visited about 180 lakes in Bangalore. And I met a lot of villagers, a lot of resident welfare associations, a lot of authorities. And I grabbed a lot more knowledge rather than book from the practical. 
like i met farmer like i used to ask him like he is a 8 years old i used to ask him like 40 years back how this whole lake was and what were you growing what were your practices and how lake supposed to be clean right and how aquatic life how birds how flora and fauna around all those things not simple simple language i used to ask since i had a experience to chat with them from childhood that helped me a lot for me right then over a period of time like kids also given me lot many informations for me then what i did is instead of doing you know just theory knowledge and the practical knowledge what i got if you are having knowledge if you don't implement it it is waste it is waste of having huge knowledge without any implementation so then i thought why don't i take one lake lakes plays vital role in bangalore one lake i'll rejuvenate it then one day i went to government one of the function uh, that uh, bring back the lakes karnataka government organized then since morning to afternoon i understood you know what exactly governments are doing so how they are putting their effort how they are trying to bring things in proper line i understood that being a government they will have one lakh of list lake is one among them right see there are resources of 180000 crores there are plenty of list lake is one for them and also when it goes to lake then encroachment budget then 6 month 1 year time to work on that monitor them engaging community and maintaining them further it's a huge challenge and then i stopped blaming government officials that you know like after hearing so many pathetic stories okay it is difficult for governments to originate which is a public partition participation will going to change this country this bangalore this state so then i realized then what i did is i realized four thing in lake one is encroachment huge encroachment second is the cost involved in lake rejuvenation say for example 36 acre kalasnalli which i used to see and they were talking about 15 16 crores it will be required and other one years time it will be required then biggest challenge is maintenance cost of uh, you know every uh, month it is about 50000 to 1 lakh rupees then i decided why don't we work on practically and bring this entire things down so what i did is i started working on uh, these uh, uh, costing in the costing you see lot many concrete structures walking track jogging track interlocking tiles curb stones kids play area open gym these that see which are not required see there are plenty parks inside the city where people can do all those things sir. but my idea was i wanted to have ecological lake and ecosystem should be built see i don't want see i visited so many government lakes where they spend 15 16 crores you see that water is a pathetic condition full of sewage algal blooms eutrophication level but if you see surrounding complete area is beautiful so that i never felt that is a lake area i felt there is a park area i don't want to create a park i want to create a best of the best lake and it's supposed to best habitat right so i thought that these people are giving jews not a best taste in the golden uh, you know uh, uh, vessel i want to give the best quality juice in a coconut shell so that was the uh, thing i thought then my water quality is supposed to be speak and span people should touch you should feel and they should put it into their mouth that was my dream and also there will not be lake bed utilized for some other refreshment area no it's supposed to be 60% water body 40% afforestation with a native fruits medicinal plants and big flowering trees right it's not just ornamental trees we put some many fashion type of plants where they cut and make it bonsai and zero mexican grass zero elephant bushy all those things zero because any grass it is a water guzzler and never give flowers never give fruit never grow as a tree it is just green piece so i wanted to build a forest where none of them branch should be chopped anything they consume my water my nutrients my carbon they should become big tree and it should become a shelter for the you know nature right so that was one dream and the water is supposed to be best of the best quality without chemical sewage treatment electricity or maintenance it's a
eventually it should happen then i started visiting some of the rivers river beds then how actually in river without having anything any stp or etp and all how they purify themselves it is very simple i thought boulders jelly sand right lot of aquatic plants like canna elephant ear like whatever all these aquatic plants like if you see biomass will be trapped by boulders and the jelly sand and nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus potassium will be extracted from the aquatic plants okay i wanted to bring a same biodiversity in a small scale of lake like 30 acres so this is what i thought so end of the uh, eight months i realized that i can do lake of 95 lakhs less than 95 lakhs where 15 crore is there and biggest time is one year one year i don't have time anybody don't have time we cannot invest our one year into only lake then i brought that lake time is 45 days to 50 days maximum where i can do complete lake then sustainability sustainability is like i wanted to utilize everything i got in lake without bringing foreign materials and spending money and instead instead of utilizing logistics time and all for, you know burning fossil fuel and increasing carbon footing let's utilize all around material so like that uh, uh, then sustainability like uh, uh, zero maintenance i thought there will not be anything which humans interfere and they cut and they maintain and they do this thing so for that first thing what i decided is any lake if you take i identified what are the resources available in existing lake right what are the do's and don'ts see i thought ecosystem is that you know anything missing links or destroyed links if you put it into that back then it starts revolving from atoms and molecules to entire universe it runs its own without any 84 core species of you know uh, uh, 80 core species interference so that was my dream then zero maintenance also i worked out so then i presented it to my management then i want one crore where can i get it so i approached government officials here and that there is a big procedures lot of eat and drink so many things were there end of the day i thought why can't we use a csr funding from my company to this lake then i given them five to ten presentations i convinced them but earlier they were not comfortable because uh, if you see in bangalore most of the lakes are built by 10000 crores 15000 crores companies right not a middle scale and nobody is done a individuals resident welfare association along with bba mp bda in that combinations lake done individual lakes were not done so i thought that uh, we will do individually so that time uh, i took a, a concurrence from management april 20th i started you know my procedure is what i did is i went to every home of that village say for example first i made up i when i completely visited about 6 7 months to that lake to plan this lake rejuvenation that time i nobody knows that i am working on lake i never told anyone after every planning once resources i got from the company then i approached to villagers and some of the leaders not definitely politicians some of the good leaders like senior citizens and all i identified then i had a friendship with them i talked to them i told them that i want to take up this lake nothing you i required i need your support i need your moral you know uh, support i don't want one rupee from you and you be with me let's rejuvenate the lake then they told me how will you going to do all those things i explained all my drawings plans and other things roughly which not very much autocad drawings definitely rough sketches i put where they can understand then i took them into confidence then i got into each and every home like election campaigns they have a route map how, how they go every home i asked them how will you go and canvass the election in a two to three hours same route we will also go and i'll meet everyone that way uh, april uh, 18th i went to every home small big every home i went i told them we are rejuvenating your lake it was a beautiful place earlier all burwell deads now i need your support we are doing a bhumi puja on april 20th please be part of it i expressly i talk to more ladies i told them any public projects you don't involve right most of the guys involve but here it is a mother earth project right so you know the water value like a water also called mother earth also called mother 
So water value you know better. You are the highest consumer. Be part of it. Like that, I brought them. I did the bumi puja with the less equipments. If you see technically how did I do is like one acre also I put a graph. If you give me ten acre also I put a one acre graph. If you give me thousand acres also I put a graph. In the graph I freeze the logistics time and the silt moment and the just in time what we can call every material has to reach in a on time. And if bandwidth is more, your uh, moment will be more. Your fossil fuel burning will more. Carbon footprint will be high. If it is too short, narrow, also you will have a same equal effect because taking rivers, putting into it. I frozen a bandwidth. This vehicle should work in this particular graph. This much this thing they should do. This much bunch they have to create. So that way I put and I also trained all the operators and I told them whatever lake rejuvenation we do. This is not just for stomach. This is just for privilege for our next generation. So let's work very honestly, beautifully, so that 45 days to 50 days will finish this project, so that it will become a ripple effect everywhere where you are inspiring people. So that way, I humans everything, and uh, I got the survey done. And after the survey, in the government, uh, some of the surveys they did love some mistakes and all. They also got influenced and so many things are there. I did not get into sir, uh, encroachment. I took a position lake. Completely, I did the work. And I removed about 4,60,000 cubic meter of mud. You know, in the soil itself, there will be three layers in Bangalore. Like first layer is about 1.5 rich nutrient, very rich topsoil, which I removed that and put it into all around forest area so that I'll not be required like uh, pesticides, urea, DAP and all, nothing required. Then second layer is Clay with gravel, which I utilized it for creating buns and islands for the bus. And the bottom layer is a you know gravel based, which I utilized it in a top layer of the walking track, which we do not require any interlocking tiles or anything, right? So rich uh, this whatever uh, the top soil, uh, since uh, it is having a roots and it's having a, a seeds or something like that, all they will going to put it in a forest so that that native again plants will be brought back. Then gravel and clay, which I put it into bun, and the top layer, uh, whatever the gravel is there, uh, that uh, it is a percolative, and the uh, water will not stagnant, it is not sticky, and there is no roots and seeds or something which it can again again grow, and uh, we need to clean them, nothing. So these kind of things I created. I opened up a lot of, you know, like uh, inlets, which I brought a huge water. Of course, when I'm opening uh, Rajnalas, from 20 feet, they made it one feet, two feet and all. They were doing agriculture and all. There were a lot of resistance, fighting, so many things. But calmly, coolly, by educating them, slow and sturdy manner, I opened up everything. By June 5th, World Environment Day, my entire lake was ready. And uh, we planned, and uh, just we put up on a, a post with the help of Satri's Environmental Trust. And uh, I brought them for plantation. And... Uh, Entire project I could able to complete in a 90 lakhs and uh, 45 days. And uh, it is a complete ecological. There is no boulder, jelly, concrete, steel, and all. See, because this lake is here, lakhs together. Here, and it will going to be here, lakhs together. Like me kind of person will come as a butterfly and just fly and go off in between. So those self-life items I did not use. I used natural habitat. Like, for example, I'll show you next slides design. What are the precautions? How I designed everything? So this lake is ready. Then June fifth, World Environment Day, with uh, we put a poster like forty five days we united so and so lake. Please be part of it. Thousand eight hundred people came, you know, from a various place of the city, including Hyderabad, Chennai. People came. Five thousand six hundred saplings we planted in a one hour forty five minutes, and uh, this was become a those thousand eight hundred people came. They planted, they just did not walk out from the lake. They took a photograph. They started making it viral. Like uh, one lake in Bangalore, one guy, he's made a, 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 in a 45 days, which is uh, all city villagers engaged. And uh, this lake is beautiful design, all those things. So it got spread. Only the problem is, then once this 1,800 people, this villagers seen, right? I took advantage of that. What I did is, then I started working on uh, lake encroachment. I told them, see, there are 33 people where you have encroached about 12 acres of land in 36 acres. Now I have created this lake. 
and uh, surrounding this whatever land is there i don't want to do anything i want to just create a forest of 40 percent with fruits medicinal plants and all and you enjoy you eat right these are all the things which i don't create that water body you clear the encroachment then uh, so many people they started fighting they were asking who wanted lake all those things and uh, we were happy with earlier only we did not want lake all those things then what i did is 30% of these people encroachers and supporters 70% who is inspired with me villagers i took them so we put them into communication finally we could able to come out that we they are ready to leave the encroachment i told them like 5 and acres you have and half acre if you leave it it will become a best forest it will become a best habit you don't have paper or anything tomorrow government will come with big rule you have to pay royalty from 70 years and you leave that will become a big burden for your kids not you okay and also you can't sell you can't build anything because of a buffer zone it is so now you give me 10 years time it will become a big forest your kids only will going to eat fruits and other things so this way i convinced slowly i cleared and the uh, first white what i touched is one side is congress person one side is a bjp person who is a big leader so instead of touching small small uh, fruits uh, first i ditched these two people and they brought a lot of phone calls they stand up i did not afraid i was very strong because of more people did not disturb me because by the time this all the volunteers everybody they put social media it has become viral indian express hindu hindu they started writing since they thought it is a going in a big way let's you know keep quiet even mla minister general they also kept quiet first these two people i cleared the encroachment then other 30 30 people i cleared so august 15th by i put one uh, poll and august 15th uh, i took about 300 village kids and uh, we uh, did a flag hosting of first freedom lake of bangalore and also i made those kids to take vote if you are a average student you will going to save this lake and protect this lake if you are a better student you know you you can also do further development if you are an excellent student then this lake you know like this you create more lakes like that we took a vote september till september first week there was no single drop water and the september first week i think 11th september in the history of bangalore 1395 mm rainfall is taken place which every bangalore area is got flooded people bbmp and all they were giving a like rice packets and all milk packets and all it was you can also google and check in 2017 huge flood that time my lake got completely 90% filled and almost 4 5000 with villagers i was just dancing and rocking in the lake and we were all happy they seen so much of water and i am the guy in april may june i roamed with the bare uh, uh, foot and uh, scooters and car and all roamed and did the rejuvenation april 2nd uh, september 2nd week i did a boating in that lake with a 15 feet of water crystal clear so then people got spiritually connected they thought that okay this guy is done honestly beautifully so lake also got filled up that way uh, journey started of me okay after this i thought okay company also happy surrounding villagers happy so many people happy then i thought let me take care of this lake other than my company nobody will going to give me money to rejuvenate so let me handle this make it a model lake that was the my dream and uh, over a period of time about 8 9 months so many corporates so many people started approaching me that why don't you do lake for us under our csr first came hp hewlett packard then i was thinking that which lake i should do then i decided that above this lake if i do so that that contamination will not flow into this lake and spill so then i started proposing that and uh, by that time people also were telling 45 days this guy did less than 95 lakhs did it. whatever all magical way it will not going to happen everywhere i don't think people can replicate so it is a one man show like that then second lake also i did third lake i did fourth lake i did like that step by step now 14 lakes i could able to rejuvenate in a less than 70 days less than 1 crore they are all become the best of the best habitat then i started working dry lakes sewage lakes and a fully of eutrophication lakes and all the lakes i could able to do it and today i am uh, being a uh, privileged and uh, i am uh, honored to be with this kind of forum and uh, could able to share my story 
and uh, end of the day my dream is that by 2025 i am planning to rejuvenate about 45 lakhs and uh, 45 lakhs not just number from here and there i have identified about 11 streams and uh, in in each stream there are 3 4 5 6 lakhs like that total 11 streams 45 lakhs if i rejuvenate i can able to save 450 acres of one big lake which they all flow into that lake see like a uh, governments they are working on a bellanduru and vartuuru lake which every world knows it is a burning and frothing lake by spending 300 crores by spending about 5 to 6 years definitely if you do rejuvenation of big lake it will not going to survive reason is input water, water matters like uh, your roof is leaking you are bringing a imported machine to clean that water that is a waste of money time and resources you have to plug leakages then automatically cleaning will stop see my dream my idea is like all input lakes up one big lake if i rejuvenate ecologically like having a good quality water good quality fish and flora and fauna around automatically that they all overflows to big lake can survive and uh, that big lake for 450 acres i did a estimation about 150 crores we need about we need about 2 to 3 years time and we have to kill lot of fish life so much of water we have we have to discharge and again it will spoil one more lake instead of that i thought of rejuvenating small small lakes with a patiently 5 years so that uh, this lake will be saved so that 25% of bangalore water cases can be addressed by doing this okay so uh, this is what i dream now and in fact i left my corporate job where from february 2019 full time like 18 hours i am working on lakes now so uh, 2000 uh, uh, like a uh, 17 to till now and whatever recharge we have done every lake got filled up that is the god grace humans can bring a money csr crowd funding various type projects have worked and we can create a structure but only thing humans can put a seed germinating becoming a tree is with nature same way once we construct a lake filling the water no humans can fill up except those uh, treated waters right we want to have a fresh rain water that is only possible with mother earth only pa- possible with nature so wherever i did the lakes all the lakes got fully filled up and also we balance percolation and evaporation rating we balance ecosystem around the lake we increase the pollinators instead of stone pitching we use lot of odelia vetiver grass and all where you know they can control the soil erosion they can reduce the carbon footprint they can increase the oxygen level and they can increase the pollinators so lot many things which i brought into the lake is with the surrounding habitats whatever plants available we planted back and increase the uh, capacity so this is what i am working and uh, i would like to also share you know like uh, uh, just one uh, presentation for your uh, uh this thing because you are a senior most people you know everything uh, but i just glance it okay this is also wallpaper is one of my lake and which is having forest and water body and the uh, uh, islands uh, and if you see uh, my one minute okay yeah so i basically work on urban semi urban and rural lakes if you see urban lakes like inside this bangalore most of the 99% of the lakes are encroached which you can't clear the encroachment because structures are built and huge investments they have done if you demolish that i don't know how many people will become jobless how many become homeless and lot many things are challenging are there on government right so anyone uh, they are trying their level best and most of the city lakes are contaminated they are in eutrophication level because 99% of uh, planet people not only in india they know how to work on architecture landscaping structures and everything but most of the people they failed in working on a grey water everybody is facing problem including industries and other thing they put a stp atp plants not even one person can claim that my atp and stp is working 99% pure no just for formalities still people under the uh, you know like a, a process none of the stp ctps i visited which government industries they invested so much of money they are not giving the best quality output because of you see from a fresh water to converting grey water only humans do it 
none of the 80 crore species, species other than humans they convert into dirt water like if you go wildlife and all other lakes and they will be crystal clear they are a drinkable water lake but when human hutments are there we are the people since water is a free commodity and uh, we think that it is abundant just from our tap leave it with a grey water once water is got contaminated it is not easy to make them clear it is depending upon weather and the batches and what is mixed in this all those things and their most of them are contaminated and the governments also spending more money on creating structure beautification tourism and all it will not going to work see the best less viscosity water can evaporate it can percolate and it can create a microclimate and it can give a best aquatic life otherwise if it is become thick and all these functions will be function and second thing is here i am working on a purification with wetlands see i am trying to use more boulder jelly sand like coal like lot of aquatic plants and generating aquatic life so that i want to do aeration with them increase the dissolved oxygen bring down the tss bod cod all those things we wanted to bring in and uh, most of the stps like uh, we spend lot of electricity chemical and other thing and it is like a uh, taking uh, this uh, homeopathy allopathy medicine see homeopathy medicine you will get cured something and you will have a side effects even water treatment also same thing if you use lot of different different chemicals and so many things which all western countries and all there into our market because india is the largest place you know huge people huge discharge also there is a potential market for us they'll come up with lot of chemicals and they give adverse effect what i use is say for example nature in sunlight itself we have ultraviolets right uv we can use one square inch of this soil has have having a 360000 microorganisms they help us to purify the water right aquatic plants they can from a, a like a up to cyanide level they can able to observe such plants are with us right india is the country which is a rich soil which rich biodiversity we want to use them without expenses we want to run the show that is what i am working on and i am successful with over the five lakes which is about 1 to 2 ml the water full of gray you know lot of uh, you know plastic pet bottles thermocol so many worst things today they become a best of the best clear stabilized not by any concrete or by stp or any chemicals what i did is whenever input water is coming i monitor that what are the things they will come for example there will be how you can check is mld not by doing lot of calculation any drainage canal if you see there will be one first mark second mark and bigger third mark first mark is non peak hour sewage is entering into lake or any water bodies second mark is a peak hours say morning 6 to 10 then evening 5 to 10 that is a peak hour and there will be one mark like a rain water uh, you know when a huge rain happens there will be one line right so that line will be with some lot of uh, biomass kind of lines so i calculate that i take that and what i did is i did not use any grills bar screen and all because they are all metal since it they connect into sewage water they will get rust they will going to spoil and uh, and uh, since this uh, metal and all uh, reuse uh, resellable material you know villagers can pick up that and they can sell and they can buy and they can close your system so what i use is i use bamboos which is not resellable i use boulders big big boulders which i put it like a river type of thing thing once they come this plastic pet bottles will be locked in a this structure so once plastic pet bottles you lock it then left out is silt first compartment i do it in not concrete i do it in a earthen bund only what i do is i when dug on digging up the lake when we do this silting that compacted land only we dug up in a 1 is to 3 proportionate so that there will be silt trap then water slowly rise then again it pass through one of the uh, pipe which that will be having a grill again then from there again second compartment again second uh, sil uh, sil trap then when it goes to third nutrients and small small biomass is there then for that i use jelly sand and uh, small boulders on big boulders and all so that there i plant lot of canna indica all those vetiver like elephant ear star grass everything that water slowly will get percolate to through that then i put lot of lotus lilies around it so that they also reduce the evaporation rating they also purify the water and it is a economy for the villagers whatever the flowers comes 
they sell and they live out of it so that 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 entire thing is taken care by villagers because of they get flowers they protect it right from there it goes to on a big area uh, there you know lot of uh, water alligators everything will be there slowly they get culture and lot of fishes will be there native so that they keep moving around and so they, they do aeration for us and also little bit of floating wetlands we don't import from anyone we take bamboos and make them floating and we take our drums which waste drums we cut and we fix it and we take all these aquatic plants put it into that make a floating wetlands after that slowly that water will going to uh, join the lake water so whole idea is like you have a 100% lake out of that 100% is not sewage 85% is a rain water 15% of sewage will going to mix with it and it is making 100% waste so what i am doing is instead of getting mixing everything and struggling to treat i am making both of them separate just by other buns aquatic plants and other all the things right so that 85% rain water catchments whatever they are there i connect it to them so that that will be safe and there will not no problem and uh, whatever sewage there will be about five ten plants i bring it to one point and more joints more problem like i bring less joints less inlets so that i connect them i purify them also whatever biodiversity 40% of the forest i create native i don't use single drop of rain water i don't want that i use this all stp water for planting uh, watering them so that what happens it is having a more npk where you know plants can grow well also this media if you put one plant one liter say about 250 ml or less than that will go for photosynthesis and all another 250 will going to evaporate another 500 ml will going to use soil as a media they also purify and come back seep into the lake only so this is also one of the method i follow so this way uh, i could able to purify the water with wetland and if you see uh, city lakes there are a lot of players bda bbmp lot of corporate sponsors they are ready to work on this thing but semi urban nobody is there semi urban lakes are uh, just they are getting into uh, icu these are all in a third stage or fourth stage urban lakes there are people working so i am focusing more on semi urban lakes where now that apartments lake views uh, villas and all coming they started all connecting into it and if you see encroachment only people are farmers around the lake and they put a fencing they put little bit compound and all there is no huge structures and all in that so that it is easy to clear the encroachment right and also there are a lot of farming community borewells are there and uh, their borewell will get recharged they will start fresh economy and also cows cattle will be more in semi urban areas whereas it, this lake will become really useful for them they connect to us then lake will survive and the third is rural lakes rural lakes equally like urban lakes contaminated like if you see solna gram this yojana or that yojana earlier there was a full of soil in the uh, villages and whatever washing whatever consumption of the water used to percolate in same place now they put concrete everywhere they made a drainage system everywhere so all village water is coming to nearby lake of uh, village and uh, there is no stp there is no nothing and this entire grey water is spoiling entire village and a lot of breeding of mosquitoes and all right so what i am doing is all this water is coming online you know treatment system i am planning like instead of bringing in a one acre land putting all the system treating there after mixing i am tapping from the each point where it generates there only i am putting all trapping silk plastic bottle pet bottles everything and we remove that and also nutrients also by putting plants we consume by the time it comes to final lake and it will be good quality water and so that that can be utilized for agriculture purpose and as well as if you see in a farming lands and the big old lakes because of urea pesticides all those things they use equally they are all contaminated so that is rural lakes about and uh, if you see my lake as i told you 60% of the water body i design and 40% odd area you know like walking track everything will be built uh, not for just walking purpose walking track i build edge of the border of the you know like a property so that again they will not encroach see today we clear encroach after 10 years again they encroach it there is no point of doing it 
by doing living job and everything sacrificing whole life if i dedicate after 20 years again it will become a uh, encroachment again it get contaminated there is no point of doing it some waste of one person life that is why most of the thing we work like this and we plant a tree around so that that will act as a border that will act as a biodiversity as well as the moment he cut a trees then case can be filed and legal action can be taken and if you see this silting i take a top layer then second layer third layer i utilize it in a various levels and we are trying to increase the full of water holding capacity say most of the lakes filled up with silt and uh, most of the lakes in bangalore they taken away that soil for the cutting the bricks and uh, they were manufacturing bricks they taken it for their agriculture land there will be big big potholes in the 99% of the lakes i visited every year 5 to 10 people die in that lake reason is not big huge water is there just shallow water there will be a big pothole then uh, maybe government is taken for just to making the road filling the land or something else they dug up in a, a non technical way in such a way that sudden steep will be there when kids will go swimming and they get into unknown uh, sudden deep then they could not able to swim back and come back they die so my lakes what i am planning is i am trying to do it a shallow one and the kids friendly and the animal birds friendly lake which it will be shallow one one is to four slopes naturally so there will not be sudden deep sudden jerks like that i do desilting and i create a bunch like a one is to four not a one is to two you know anybody can anywhere they can walk suddenly they will not get into deeper water this way i do it and if you see my design also like a road side generally most of the main bunds are uh, next to that there are a lot of roads uh, along the lake road side what i do is i don't put any metal fencing and all this chain link mess and all because most of the drunkards if they don't have money and they want to bruise uh, then their hands will be shaking that time they will come to lake they put this link take angles or anything nobody is bother they sell it in a second shop they bruise it so that is why we should not invest more money valuable resellable items into the lake at all and what we can do is we can plant a bamboo we can plant a bougainvillea bamboo is a bougainvillea both are drought plants you need not to water them you need not to maintain them and uh, these are the plants where they grow well together and they sink lot of carbon they become a best place for the birds nesting and uh, they will work as a uh, border for you then if you see second line uh, walking track i create out of desilted mud 25 out of 25 feet 5 feet for trees 5 feet for trees another 50 feet for walking track and uh, outside lake side i go for bigger bushy trees inside i go for middle canopy trees and whatever stones i get it in the lake these stones i do little stone pitching and after that i'll give another uh, 10 feet step there i put a herbs and shrubs so that herbs and shrubs can attract lot of pollinators and also they act as a best biodiversity and also any kids any animals or anybody suddenly if they get into that they will not get into suddenly water body there will be one step to protect themselves and if you see this slope it will be natural one is to four slope which i use a vetiver varelia plants for you know controlling the soil erosion and water also fill they also purify the water and this vetiver is a big fodder for the surrounding cows and cattle which can increase the dairy farming and people economy also because this entire lake people earlier were using as a dry lake as a grazing land now because of this dependency they don't have their own lands they have two three cows they were grazing because of our environment our cars if we make it a full water body and he is not made any mistake and he is the person who will get affected that is why in the slopes same area if i give with the fodder so that again dairy milk will be uh dairy farming will be uh, uh entertained so that way and if you see one of my lake uh, this is a nanjapura lake uh, like uh, last year intel corporation usa funded for csr funded for this and this lake we rejuvenated in a lockdown itself we started this lake from february 11th uh, by march i did just one by fourth of the lake and the lockdown is taken place in the lockdown itself i took all the care i trained my people social distancing mask hand sanitizer everything we used and we ran entire this lake in a lockdown time 
all officials surrounding government sandal i made a video how i train my people what precaution way and also i told them it is guaranteed that from my lake if there is any fatals i'll going to stop right so that way god grace till june 5th june 10th i run completely this project and this lake was a full dry pathetic lake and this lake got uh, brave glue uh, lighthouse award for global award uh, intel got it for this lake and design they got and because of that they inspired and they given me one more lake i'll show you next see if you see this lake design you, you know right uh, for example this is the main water body where you know that the dry, water will come and uh, see i created a small earthen bunt compartments here first in here plastic thermocol pet bottles will be trapped which we remove it and uh, first then again it will come to uh, uh, silt silt will be trapped then there is a opening again second level silt will be trapped third water will get cultured then slowly they flow into the lake by the time it reach to lake there is no silt because in future nobody will silt i know very well i am the last person to touch this lake because in the history of thousands years nobody touched this lake so it will not be touched in future also so i have taken this lake that no silt should come i will not be there here to remove it <laughs> that is very clear this thing and also water will get cultured here and also see if this water got cultured and flowing into this then good water is flowing and also here we put lot of aquatic plants right so they also purify the water and just imagine this year we don't rains came okay if you live directly into this bigger lake of 19 acres and it will be one feet of water spread across 19 acres and the spread is more the percolation will be high evaporation will be high again with 10 days it will not be there but my idea is two lay, two rains this three compartment will be filled so that there will be birds water there will be cows water cattle's water right then there are a five ten rains then this will get filled up then 15 to 16 rains full will get filled up like that so water also i made a small small pockets so that it will not spread into bigger area and evaporate and percolate and uh, it will again become drought no because when rains are less uh, that year everywhere it is dry even my lake also dry there is no point of doing it so that is why small small packets will fill up i love water for birds i love water for cows and cattle and villagers also right so that way and uh, if you see natural slopes entire slopes i put a uh, near few grass because i check each and every lake and design based on soil based on community based on the last 50 years growth maybe industries are there or uh, like uh, whatever agriculture is there layouts are coming what is there and what the, the people dependency like here most of the people in nanjapura are grazers because of this lake and another lake a uh, lot of cows there around 700 cows suddenly if i change this it will impact on their life that is why i put a complete nephew grass you will not believe it nephew grass is, i put a seeds every last uh, one year now almost one and a half year every villagers they come and cut the grass and take away to home to graze no the more you cut the more solid they are becoming the more roots they are going the less erosion is controlled right so this way i created and also if you see this kalyani stone pitching see here you can see this is the land where the people do a lot of uh, agriculture activity so it will come here there is i left the place any silt place we should not put any concrete stones or structures because once silt is built you want to desilt it then you will have to use high end equipments to protect those concrete or this thing stones just to leave it as a muddy one so that with earth more you can two hours you can desilt it otherwise if that colony type if you create then you this uh, while desilting these stones will get disturbed you have to put more manpower and spend a lot of money see here you can see silt trap is just common one and water will flow into this kalyani kalyani will do idle immersion tank and uh, durga everything we can put in it and small kids they can swim in it it is safe and also uh, uh, you know like a, this is the place where you can uh, take a drinking water and once the, two three rains it will get fill up then it overflows to here so means there is a three type of interventions which i created and if you see this back side it is a layout is coming and this side also layout is coming and you will not find one you know inlets here more inlets more joints more problem 
you should reduce it to to not by doing huge spending money and creating a structure you should utilize the natural gravity see like you see here natural uh, gravity is reverse so i did not put one pipe because i know very well this villa and apartment community come they live as a treated water in direct lake and you can't identify you can't file a case against them you can't fight they they claim i don't know so that is why i created the here and i brought this entire water here only and there are a lot of check dams there are a lot of aquatic plants with general water comes also they will get purify come here if grey water they start then i can propose them that boss you can leave water grey water is boon for me i need for the saplings to water them but there is my parameter within that you have to treat so this area i will give you put a stp plant or whatever you want you treat and leave it here then i will utilize it that option also i have kept see you can't go swim against river whole life will be keep swimming you have to provide them solution like tomorrow if they come up with that you treat and leave it this is your water this is your water parameter main lake is always safe right so this is what i read and here also uh, anand ji can i interrupt that yes sir uh, vivek ji i think uh, we can take one more session and if it is possible next sunday because people may be going for lunch and things right okay so okay. that will be better if it is possible then maybe uh, permission vivek ji we can take up the some uh, next sunday but possible oh we we cross lot, lot of time right lot of questions will be there so if ah, we if another of, another five minutes i'll just find it off yeah. yeah yeah five minutes and it's a big subject anyway i whatever i told also 10% <laughs> listening engaging engaging community bringing people uh, monetary them on sustaining it is a big subject okay this is what one minute i'll just quickly so this is what the designs i create time to discuss with us next sunday let's see that i'll check and get back to you yeah if it is possible then because a lot of questions and a lot of discussion required uh, quickly so i'll is, go yeah. quickly i'll run 5 minutes yeah because the thing is mr anand one is to today was a subject of introducing you and then how to associate with you or doing some work in northern india yeah our uh, next subject of discussion also yeah so okay. if it is possible next sunday uh, yeah. sometime maybe if have 15 20 minutes if you yeah. can join the same time then you yeah. can leave if it is from 12 to 1 any time between 12 to 1 if you join sure. then we will discuss so i think that will be better because people may be going for the sunday maybe for lunch and things like okay. i don't know so should i uh, wind up now i think vivek ji can that uh, if it is possible then yeah. we can take up uh, uh, mr anand it would be very nice if you could kindly join next sunday yeah to complete this uh, subject because uh, many of the people being a sunday you know normally we keep it 12 well to 1 yeah but keep it on a sunday because most of them are oh, i went to 20 minutes away is it <laughs> sorry i am <laughs> extremely sorry <laughs> see but i am a mad guy i don't know <laughs> but great 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 work you are doing great work <laughs> yeah but sorry. i think they are mostly very distinguished guests and you know they have other uh you know uh, commitments during the week no problem no problem let's not waste time in uh, telling our problem let's quickly yeah. i'll go one by one slide five minutes instead of telling this story i'll cl close it up okay yeah. yeah so this is one and in bangalore if you see i'm working in a between forest and bangalore so that ecology will get merged fast i'm working towards forest because already there is a system that will going to merge here yeah. and i'm doing a stream wise lakes one by one as i told you earlier so that they all flow to bigger lake this one hennagara so that the like this 11 streams 45 lakes i am planning and this is how that nanjapura lake was full flat no systems nothing at all and i take a survey map of government of karnataka i do survey myself i clear the encroachment and design i make it very simply like this where any layman can understand it should not be too complicated that engineering drawings and if you see that lake was like this and slowly we did the diesel thing we created structure like this it become like this with wetty wet grass and all beautifully and uh, this is my first lake of kalasnadi where we have a uh, like five islands for small tiny birds each birds each island is designed based on their interest of fruits and medicinal plants and we have miyawaki forest we have a traditional forest we have wetland and that lake looks like this last five years and lot of biodiversity like wadelia plant i told you they also started uh, fruiting and this is my second lake where we have a 8 feet area 16 feet area 32 feet area and wetland areas like yeah. and this lake looks like this 
and this is a one of the sewage lake and uh, i told you no rain water lake i separated in a just urban bund and put aquatic plant this is one of the lake which i did in a colony stepwell concept and this lake is wildlife lake there is no walking track jogging cart and all only photography is allowed here it is for wildlife drinking water is done in forest it looks like this and nanjapura i told you this is nanjapura and haro siddhapura i did a natural biological sewage treatment for one mld working successfully water is like looking like this grey water and if you see nagamangala which it is a 47 acres which largest lake i did with kiran majumdar shah and forest department planted lot of trees without cutting single trees i converted into island i created the same equal water holding capacity by increasing the depth of the lake and this is my uh, eighth lake which it is not a graphic it is a real photograph lake photograph of this thing just lockdown itself i finished and now i am working with sadali lake which is vivekshar lake and uh, just now i finished bingipura lake which was haribal lake right so this is what statistics and uh, maybe we will uh, catch up next time yes our yes. question i am extremely sorry apologizing for all of yes, you that thank you thank no, you so i am a mad kind of guy if i get into the subject maybe uh, i have kept a time constant still i cross 20 minutes just imagine if you give me full freedom till the evening i'll make you to float in around this subject only because last 7 years i not bother about my family life yeah, revenue anything only woke up 6 till 12 o'clock only legs <laughs> i am extremely sorry for i am apologizing yeah. very very great great for yeah. we all grateful anand yeah. anand sir and lot of fun excellent work thank you so, vivek ji i think uh, will uh, today we will continue i think next sunday a uh, final comment from your side sir today yeah. that uh, i would thank all the distinguished guests for joining and especially mr anand who is so passionate and so passionately spoke on this subject unfortunately we could not end the subject today hence we have to kindly request him to brief us next time so some of our distinguished guests can uh, have a in discussion with him Yeah. so that we can take it forward from here to the next subject yes sir how to execute and use your knowledge and take your help in doing some activity which heart care wants to do in the future and we have also understood we can definitely involve some uh, csr activities into regeneration of lakes under the environmental scheme we have uh, and uh, it's fantastic what you are doing it's uh, it's a, it's a highly acclaimed thing and we must all of us are extremely uh, uh, grateful for your time and the enlightenment you have given us today thank you thank you for your time also sir for mother earth you were spending your entire sunday for mother earth and listening my success story and uh, you were inspiring me and you were also you know blessing me i'm equally thankful to you also sir Yeah. thank you pai thi big clapping to anand mr anand i think everybody can clap that way this is great work and thank you vivek ji thank you mr anand thank you mukul ji thank you our sdm mangeram ji and all our distinguished guests will continue next sunday and uh, will will have great interaction and we'll then then finally in the ground we can take as a transfer into action that is it and thank you enjoy sure. your lunch at home thank meanwhile, you meanwhile meanwhile just you google about anand maligwar Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Anand Maligwar, and you watch my some of the TED talks or maybe some of the videos or social media, whatever I talk, everything I put it for inspiration purpose, not publicity. So just have a look at it so that you can better ask questions, uh, you know, which is relevant. I, if whatever possible, I can answer for. You. Okay, thank, thank you. you, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. You should thank also you. look at someone called uh, Biome Trust. His name is Vishwanath Sir. He's an interesting person in Bangalore. You should connect with him. He's doing some really awesome work with water. Yeah, Vishnath is doing a more work on the wells, rainwater recharge, and the eco food called the thing. He's doing fantastic. Yeah, one person from here. That Vishnath sir does some really good work with with the communities that are there um, to get them livelihood as well as recharging ground water and creating back the natural wells that we have. Okay okay thank you everybody thank you we'll uh, end the session today and yeah. we'll join the next sunday